I think your mama had a tough time with that story of this little piggy. <laughs> seem to have one that's homeless. <laughs> Better give him a dollar because he's not wee 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 in no way. I broke my middle toe on my right foot about three weeks ago. Does anybody here know what a doctor does to fix a broken toe? You know, somebody said nothing. They actually do something to fix it. What do they do? Somebody, let me just say it. What do they do? Tape it to the next step. Yeah, where were you three weeks ago? That cost me $286. <laughs> he, he taped it to my next step. <laughs> I could have done that. <laughs> I'm from the South. I have a degree in duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a roll of duct tape, some hay, bell, and wire, and a beach towel, I can make you seat covers for your car. <laughs> He taped it to my next toe. I walked out of there thanking God I didn't break my ankle. <laughs> I'll never get to San Diego. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just funny on my left side. <laughs> I guess between last night's show and tonight, I must have had a stroke. <laughs> I was just in Florida. I was in St. Augustine, Florida. That's the oldest city in the United States. Did you know that, sir? St. Augustine, Florida, folks. Oldest city in the United States. You can go down there and see all the buildings they uh, built in the 1500s. You can go to Tampa. You can meet the people that built them. <laughs> and drive down to Naples and meet their parents. <laughs> I don't care if you laugh or not. There's a lot of old people in Florida. <laughs> I was at the Walmart, the greeter was like, can I get you a basket? <laughs> I don't know, can you? <laughs> Clear. <laughs> First time I was ever down in Florida, I was in Miami. I was playing golf with a friend of mine who grew up in Florida. On the golf course with us was an alligator. The guy I'm golfing with, he didn't even flinch. He just looks at me and goes, you know, Russ, hey buddy, hey dude, hey man. You know, those alligators can run 35 miles an hour. <laughs> well, not if he's chasing me, he'll be slipping in some poop. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Could you run around the room and make it seem like a crowd? <laughs> I actually did fly in uh, from New Orleans. Uh, I, I really, honest to God, I don't like to fly. It does scare me. Uh, I'll tell you what, I don't like to fly anymore. They're not allowing you to carry anything on an airplane. No more liquids, gel, uh, shampoo. Uh, I don't know if women can take makeup. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, let me tell you how serious they are about this. I got on a plane about eight, eight weeks ago, and I had a Red Bull energy drink with me, and I'm right in the middle of security, and the guy behind me taps me. He goes, hey, what's that taste like? <laughs> I said, it's the bomb. <laughs> Sudden, I'm surrounded by six guys dressed in black with black ski masks. I was like, yo, what's up, my ninjas? <laughs> Some of y'all thought I was going somewhere different with that one, didn't you? I can't take shampoo on an airplane. Dogs at the airport are looking for PCP, not pH balance. <laughs> I think we'll be in trouble if they raise the terror alert to Silky Smooth. <laughs> I saw this on CNN headline news, folks. I'm not making this up. Terrorist women said they would be willing to have their breasts implanted with liquid explosives. Not making it up. I had a friend of mine in my house that night. He said, how are we going to find that? <laughs> You're sitting next to a woman with big boobs and a fuse hanging out the side. <laughs> if she pulls her nipple ring like the pen on a hand grenade, <laughs> On a duck. <laughs> Some states you work, folks, you don't want to be there. I was in Alabama, uh, stopped at a bank to use an automatic teller machine. Those people aren't even computerized yet. <laughs> oh, they're not. They just had this old guy sitting in a booth. <laughs> he said, Hand me your card and whisper me your secret number. <laughs> a lot of people don't know this about Alabama. There's a state law when you get to the uh, state line, you have to change heads. Did you know that, ma'am? You have to take off your smart head and put on a stupid head. <laughs> of course, people from Arkansas, they can drive right in. 